Hello everyone, um, the audio for this is going to be pretty terrible because I'm having to use my camera mic even though I'm standing behind it. Um, this is something a little unusual, um, I've never done anything like this. Uh, next time I do something like this I hope to have a better setup, but I received in the mail something rather interesting. Ultramarines. Be impressed everyone, be impressed. Now, of course you already know that because you've looked at the title of this video, but fuck it. As we get inside, Special Edition Ultramarines, a Warhammer 40,000 movie. Please don't be shit. Um, I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to watch it and then before I upload this and then give you a little review. We also get... Hard Choices, What Happened in Algo. It's... Basically, graphic novel. Very short. More like a comic book, but hardback. Very nice looking. Um... So yeah, not at all nerdy at all. Completely not nerdy. Hard choices would happen to Ogo. We also get steel case copy of the film. Yeah. Ultramarines are my favorite Space Marine chapter. I used to play them when I played the game years ago. I don't play anymore, except for Dawn of War. Dun dun, we get the movie and we get the extra content. Be impressed, everyone. Be impressed. Dun dun dun. Now, I am going to go and watch this bad boy, and then I will come back and give you some, inst give you a short review of it, um, as myself, not as Hagen, and we'll see what it's like. See you later. Hello, this is Diamanda Hagen, not in character or anything, doing my first uh, new film review. Um, Sort of like a vlog, I'm just going to talk here without any script or anything, because I have now seen Ultramarines, a Warhammer 40,000 movie. And, well, before I go into it, a couple of words for the like two people who decided to watch this video and don't know what, what Warhammer 40k is. Um, basically, it's a futuristic battle game, you know, tabletop game, and uh, you've got various races who beat the shit out of each other, and in this one you've got the Space Marines, which are basically religious fundamentalist space fascists, and they're the good guys, and they're battling evil demon aliens from another dimension. So it's a bit like Hagen. But, um, I've seen the film now, and I give it 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10. I, I enjoyed it. It was good. It was what I expected. I went in there expecting it to be pretty much, if you know the universe, if you're happy with the universe, if you've played it before, you'll be fine. If uh, you haven't, screw you. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. I, I was expecting it to be basically very, very authentic to the game. And it was. It was not made for people who don't like the universe already, or know about the universe already. Um, the, it, people are going to complain about the graphics. The graphics were not very good. And you can see that because I'm overlaying the uh, footage from the trailers right now. The, they weren't very good. It's, but they had a tiny budget. And frankly, anyone who thinks that a better film is crap because they have lower budget compared to a worse film... Sorry, that I completely fucked that up. Um, Anyone who decides that a good-looking inferior film is better than a bad-looking superior film is a moron, okay? It's like Avatar versus Battle for Terra. Battle for Terra? Far better than Avatar in about half the time. Avatar? Looks pretty. Developed a new kind of technology. Very good, it's an advert for that technology. As a film, it's shit. But this, graphic-wise, is terrible. No, it's not terrible. It's, it's not great. Um, but that's down to budget. It's got a few issues. The main problem with it, graphic-wise, uh, the figures have no weight, even though they're supposed to be eight foot tall and like weighs from like half a ton each. You get no sense of weight in the characters. I, I'm not sure if it was mo-capped or not. Probably not, but yeah, it doesn't quite feel right, especially with the weight and things. It's... they're very basic as well. The faces of the non-human characters. The flesh of the non- the human flesh is plasticky, it looks like low-budget, you know, CGI graphics, that's fine, but the faces of the demon prince and the demon- the chaos space marines look- they look worse.
I don't know what they were doing there. It looked like cellophane or something. That was not good. Um, now, a couple of problems, you know, I, it's been years and years since I've played Warhammer 40,000. Years and years and years and years. But a couple of things that, noted, that I noticed that didn't seem to be quite right. One, these guys are going to battle for the first time, and they're full Space Marines. I thought in Warhammer 40,000, Warhammer 4, the Space Marines were supposed to start off as, as scouts. Do loads of battles that way, and if you survive long enough, you get into the Space Marines. But this one, it seems that this is their first battle ever, and they've never been in battle at all. And they're suddenly full Space Marines. Seems a bit strange to me. I mean, this, this it seems, yeah, it doesn't seem quite right. Um, also, on character of the Space Marines, they were nowhere near nasty enough. Space Marines are genocidal, fascist, the the you know, fundamentalist, religious bastards. These ones, they just seem to be normal human beings. Technically, yes, they are normal human beings. Space Marines should be, but you do not get a sense that these guys will happily destroy an entire planet simply because they find one guy who has different religious views than them. Because that's the shit they do. Um, but this, they're just basically guys, soldiers. You could, essentially, you could remove a lot of the film of the film and use the script, huge chunks of it, but, uh, in nearly any war in history, especially modern war. You could you you could take away um, the the crazy sci -fi science fiction and fantasy elements, and you could come up with any old war film. Um, Oh, just in case you're wondering, it's not a big, huge, thousands of people versus thousands of people film. It is a single Space Marine tactical squad who are on this planet, and they're, they're going to this planet, I think it's there, and they come across the ruins of a, well, a lot of dead Imperial Fist, and monastery they were defending, and um, survivors, and then, and you know, chaos is about. The villains are the Chaos Space Marines. Um, they, I'm fine with the Chaos Space Marines there, but basically um, the heroes and the villains are too similar looking. That's one issue I had. Um, you get the, the heroes and the villains are basically the same guys, except one's an evil version of the other. You really, there were more interesting races they could have used it would have, that would have made the film a lot more interesting. Um, Maybe Tyranids, uh, Necrons, Tau, Orcs, Eldar, any of these would have made, given the villain, villains a very different flavour. Chaos Space Marines just felt like regular Space Marines, but with more points. And their armour was nowhere near weathered enough. These guys are supposed to have been around since the Horus Heresy. And the, um... There's a very strange effect when they're firing their guns as well, the bolt guns. It almost as looks like the screen cracks whenever the bolter goes off. It's quite odd. Um, so I'm trying not to spoil anything for you, because some of you are going to want to watch it at some point. The music is very good. It's not bolt thrower, it probably should have been bolt thrower, at least over the end credits, but um, nice and orchestral, you've got choirs going on, it's very, very monkish. At times, I could have, I could, have, I felt that. At times, I uh, felt I could have dubbed in if I was doing a proper review of it, dubbed in the chanting monks from Monty Python and the Holy Grail, and it would have been hilarious. The um. And for a film called Ultramarines, now whenever I played 40k, it was years ago. Um, my favorite chapter was the Ultramarines. They're the ones I played. I played the Ultramarines, and this is a film about the Ultramarines. Now, some people have said that it's that one of the issues with it is that the Ultramarines basically are the most boring chapter of Space Marines out there, and I would agree, they do have a lot less character, they're basically, they're basic Space Marines. Um, the other chapters, Blood Angels and um, Space Wolves particularly, and Dark Angels, have a lot of character, they're like Space Marines with a twist, and it probably would have been more interesting if you had another chapter. And you give an idea about how, bo how you know, how you know, the the Ultramarines tend to be the dullest of the Space Marine chapters. Um, the most interesting character in the film is a chaplain for the Imperial Fists. And he's played by John Hurt, and he has an awesome suit. It, it, 
He looks pretty cool. It's typical chaplain gear. Skull mask and all. Acting-wise, um... Acting-wise, fine. Hell of a lot of actors that I had recognised. Donald Sumter, Sean Pertwee, Terrence Stamp, John Hurt, a couple of others. And the acting was universally fine. It's... You got the proper epic pomposity type thing, uh, John Hurt in the extra features comments about how the closest thing you can think of to this is Templar Knights, and they all went for that, and it worked very well. Um, though Sean Pertwee, <laughs> Sean Pertwee um, is very working class, and for this he decided to try and be a bit more theatrical, and it's rather amusing because when he tries to be theatrical he sounds like his dad, John Pertwee, the third doctor, so he sounds, his space marine boss sounds a little bit like the third doctor. I, sometimes I really wished he would have, you know, tried to reverse the polarity of the neutron flow or something like that. He goes, damn it, Brigadier, I'll stop that! It's, <laughs> it's... The acting is fine. I have no complaints about that. The main weakness is, a bit too short, I would prefer a slightly more epic type thing. Um, Script-wise, there's bits where it's not great. Um, Music-wise, great. Would have wished more of a budget, but if it's a trade-off between more of a budget and a film that you basically and a film that will be made for a mainstream audience, I prefer the non-mainstream. It's more pure to the source. Um, it can be done on a low budget, and I'm fine with that. Um, Ultramarines. It's probably not worth the twenty-five pounds that I paid for it, which would be about forty dollars. But if you're a fan of this of the of 40,000, go for it. It is good. You'll enjoy it. If you're not a fan, it's probably not the best way to get into the universe. Try Dawn of War. Um, and apart from all that, I th it's it's fine. I'm happy with it. Well, see you later. New reviews coming up soon. Bye!